Hi everyone, welcome at the Out of the Box Design channel. This video will detail the process of my first video where I used AI to design a tea packaging. So let's dive in. The first step is to know what dimensions the packaging will be. Maybe you have to conceive the layout by yourself, but in most cases, the printer or product development team should send, should, excuse me, send you a flat layout. If that's not the case, and for the purpose of this video, I will provide you a few resources like VectEasy, FreePleek, and Template Maker, who all have pre-made assets, but be aware that those are not always licensed for professional use. Right now, I am only using a layout for educational purposes uh, that I got from FreePleek. So, the second step is to know what product inside the packaging will be. Does the brand have specific requirements, such as holding onto a graphic chart? Are there any legal text? Is a barcode required? Will there be nutritional facts? Does the client aim for a specific color? And so on. Answers to those questions will come from a brief with your client. You should also be aware of how to set a file for printing. Indeed, the file has to be 300 dots per inch uh, for the best results, even sometimes higher. And you'll have to test it before. Uh, make sure to know all the printer's requirements. You can give them a call and uh, ask them which which uh, type of file they prefer, uh, if they uh, will print in RGB or do they want CMYK, it all depends on your printer, so uh, be sure uh, you ask me before. Third step is getting inspiration and brainstorm ideas. In this video, I want to make a noodle takeaway box from an Asian fast food uh, with a traditional style. Of course, you will make everything by yourself, but my video aims to show you how to implement AI in your workflow. So I'm gonna use the least amount of uh, stock uh, footage possible. I think I didn't even use uh, any uh, photo or image uh, from a, a specific website, only reference images. So let's say I have no inspiration at all. I will start by asking for a very general task as a uh, Give me a uh, well noodle packaging uh, and uh, just you know scroll through the results, see what it where it gets me. And then uh, I can you know decide what style I'm aiming for. This will really wake up your imagination and let you understand what you want and what you don't. Fourth step is to detail the prompt. Once again, I will be using Prompt Mania. It's an online and free prompt builder to refine tasks. So I choose the colors I aim for and tell me journey to avoid editing text as well as backgrounds and keeping a front view with typing flat. Uh, once you really have an idea what you want of what you want, you can start to use one or several reference images. Also, you will probably not use the packaging itself as a part of your prompt because that will place stuff in perspective and adjusting those can be tricky in Photoshop later. Uh, so. Fifth step is that once you have the packaging style you were looking for, uh, you should turn the prompt into poster instead of packaging, uh, with or without the remix mode, maybe try both. And this will turn the, the design um, to something flat that you can uh, use straight forward, or you can uh, break uh, the whole design into pieces, which I'm gonna show you uh, in this video. So, uh, of course, you can use an image with a box, go into Photoshop, free and transform to distort, adjust the perspective, lens correction, warp around and so on. Or you can save time by asking for something flat as I did here with the poster uh, or with, by breaking the design into pieces and then compositing it yourself instead of using, uh, you know, what uh, Majorni provides by default. So, you should know that I tried a lot of different ideas and it took me over an hour of prompting trial and error before uh, I found something that I looked close to what I had in mind. Uh, then next, step six. Now that, you want, now that you exactly know what you want, it's time to break the design into pieces. Well, this is not a required step if you had a result that could be used as it is, but in this video, I'm using several assets all made in mid-journey um, to uh, composite my, uh, my packaging. Uh, so you can choose to use an, uh, excuse me. So uh, I use a few assets as uh, the pattern that you can make on your own with using a dash dash tile 
dash dash version 3 in midjourney. Uh, there isn't a uh, dash dash style version in uh, version 4 yet. Uh, dash dash style provides uh, a, pa um, a pattern that really works. Uh, so if you copy one piece next to another, uh, they will uh, continue. Um, then you will see that uh, I made this uh, Asian circular seal. Uh, results were incredible, by the way, quite hard to choose between all of them. Uh, you can see here I used a little technique to make it symmetrical because, uh, well, uh, Mijoni doesn't always make things perfectly symmetrical, but for a logo, that's what you maybe aim for. The cook was also amazing, not perfect, but cohesive with the other traditional uh, Chinese drawing style out there. And uh, of course, uh, there was also this ramen bowl to make people hungry and to show uh, the product. Step seven, time to dig into editing manually. First, turn to at least 150 DPI, uh, maybe a 300 as is required, but for this video, I didn't want it to watch, to, to wait too much for rendering. And uh, I'm not building this for a real brand, just for uh, to show you guys how this all works, how I make my stuff. Uh, so, as you can see, I just added all of the assets, made a few adjustments, selections, and masks. Nothing too crazy, but you know, I only started using Photoshop in 2022. So there's a, still a lot I have to learn. I don't know all the techniques uh, that, that professional know. And uh, I think my design could have been way better if I had spent more time. By the way, for this video, I didn't make a poster for mockup, but this really helps make the product stand out. Once it's done, I think the final result is quite decent. Could be better, of course. I spent a total of seven hours of work for the whole thing, so an entire productive day. Whereas driving every asset could have taken a day on its own. So you really, really gain a lot of time uh, when using AI. Imagine if I had to, to draw this cook entirely. Uh, this would have taken hours. Um, so the final step, Excuse me. Just before the final step, step eight is type. So I prefer using Illustrator, even though there are less options than in Photoshop, just because it renders better uh, and uh, it makes those vectors very sharp. And uh, the final stage, of course, will be to send this over to the product development team uh, to make a print test uh, to see if the client, uh, to ask the client if this is okay for him. Uh, if there are things he wants to add, to remove. Uh, of course, there may be uh, legal text to add, for instance here, uh, maybe a recycle um, icon and so on. And uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, I really hoped you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions or uh, any subjects for, uh, for future videos, let me know in the comments. I'm trying my best to provide uh, content. And uh, see you soon on the Out of the Bugs Design channel. Thank you for watching.